The United States is in the process of finalizing new export restrictions on chip-making equipment destined for China. This move comes as part of ongoing efforts to close existing loopholes in export regulations. The revised rules will place tighter controls on the export of U.S. chip-making equipment to China to limit access to advanced chip-making tools. Additionally, these regulations aim to address certain gaps in the restrictions on artificial intelligence chips. The Biden administration notified Beijing of its intention to update these rules in early October, signaling a renewed effort to prevent the expansion of advanced technology to China. But to understand why the U.S. is imposing more sanctions and what its impact would be on a global scale, we need to rewind a little. In October of the previous year, the United States introduced a set of export restrictions on advanced technology, particularly AI chips and chip-making tools, to prevent the Chinese military from benefiting from U.S. technology. These measures were implemented to limit China's access to sophisticated AI chips and prevent the importation of cutting-edge chip-making equipment from the United States. But did these sanctions impact China? Despite these restrictions, China has been steadily working on achieving self-sufficiency in the technology sector, making the sanctions less effective. President Xi Jinping has emphasized the importance of accelerating China's science and technology development to achieve greater self-reliance. China recognizes that relying heavily on imported technology leaves it vulnerable to sanctions and trade disruptions. In response, the country has taken significant steps to bolster its domestic technology capabilities. China has launched a substantial $40 billion state fund with the primary goal of strengthening the country's chip industry. A substantial portion of this fund will be allocated to the acquisition of equipment required for chip manufacturing. The Finance Ministry of China has pledged to contribute 60 billion yuan to this fund, indicating the government's commitment to bolstering its domestic chip industry. But the question is, where did the actions impact the relations between the two giants? The U.S. sanctions have hindered the exports of major chips to China. To counter China's determined pursuit of self-sufficiency, the United States is revising and tightening its export restrictions on chip-making tools. This move addresses existing loopholes and further limits China's access to cutting-edge technology. The revised export regulations will align more closely with the export controls imposed by the Netherlands and Japan. By doing so, the United States aims to harmonize its approach with these like-minded nations, thereby reducing the chances of technology leakage to China through third-party channels. One of the focal points of the updated rules is to close certain loopholes in the export restrictions of AI chips. The previous sanctions aimed to prevent AI chips from reaching Chinese military applications. The revised rules will provide more comprehensive coverage to handle vulnerabilities. The updated regulations will introduce enhanced oversight mechanisms to monitor and enforce compliance. This will involve stricter scrutiny of companies involved in the export of chip-making tools to China, ensuring that the restrictions are effectively implemented. While the United States is taking steps to fortify its export controls, challenges remain on the path to curbing China's technological advancements. China's determination, significant financial investments, and a growing pool of skilled researchers and engineers make it a formidable player in the global technology arena. The global technology supply chain is complex, with components and expertise sourced from various countries. Even with stricter U.S. export controls, China can still acquire critical components from other nations, making it difficult to fully isolate China from advanced technology. The nations seem to prefer China over the United States for various reasons. One major reason why many nations trust China more is because of the trust they have built over time. China has been steadily growing its economy and has become a reliable partner for many countries. They have a track record of keeping their promises and fulfilling their commitments in business deals. This reliability has made other nations more comfortable doing business with China. China is seen as a land of opportunities for businesses. Its vast and rapidly growing market offers a huge customer base for companies worldwide. Many nations want to tap into this market to expand their businesses and increase profits. This desire for business opportunities in China motivates them to establish relations and partnerships with the country. Even when the United States imposes sanctions on China, many countries continue to engage in trade relations with them. This demonstrates the determination of these nations to maintain their business ties with China despite the political pressures. They believe that business and politics should be separate, and they don't want to miss out on the benefits of trading with China. Economic interdependence is another reason why countries want to maintain good relations with China. 
Many countries are dependent on China for the supply of various goods and materials, which are essential for their industries. Disrupting these supply chains can have adverse effects on their economies. So, they prefer to keep their business relations with China stable. China has also been actively engaged in diplomatic efforts to strengthen its relations with other nations. They have invested in infrastructure projects and provided financial assistance to developing countries. These initiatives help build positive relations and foster goodwill among partner nations. The trust that other countries place in China for doing business is based on factors such as reliability, economic opportunities, and the desire to maintain stable trade relations. Despite political tensions and sanctions, these countries continue to engage with China, recognizing the benefits of strong business ties. This trend is likely to continue as China's role in the global economy continues to grow. Now the question is how China neutralizes the sanctions. What was the exact strategy? China has made substantial investments in research and development, fostering innovation in various technology sectors. This commitment to innovation enables China to develop solutions, reducing its reliance on foreign technology. International collaborations and partnerships can provide China with access to advanced technology, even in the face of export restrictions. Cooperation with other technologically advanced nations remains a challenge for controlling technology transfer. Does the tightening of sanctions would make any difference? Will it stop China from making the chips? China's pursuit of self-sufficiency in various sectors, including the production of computer chips, has been steadfast. This determination has led the nation to overcome numerous obstacles in its quest for technological advancement. It's important to understand that China's chip industry has grown significantly in recent years, and the country has invested heavily in research and development to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers. China possesses substantial domestic resources, including a large pool of skilled workers, advanced manufacturing capabilities, and a growing number of semiconductor manufacturing facilities. These resources enable China to develop and produce its chips. The Chinese government's support for innovation and technology development has led to significant advancements in its chip industry. This focus on innovation allows China to overcome obstacles and find alternatives when facing sanctions. China's approach to technological self-reliance is long-term. The nation is willing to endure short-term disruptions for the sake of its long-term goals. This resilience can make it challenging for sanctions to have a lasting impact. Instead of relying solely on sanctions, a more effective approach may involve fostering cooperation and healthy competition in the global tech sector. This approach could encourage countries to collaborate on innovation and technology development, ensuring that no single nation becomes too dominant.